Hi right, guys, Biro here at my haunted hotel again. Um, so far, great to catch up with uh, Danny and Harry. Nice to finally meet Brett. I've spoken to Brett on a podcast. Um, the three of them are just really nice guys. Um, I'm quite surprised with the level of access they've given us tonight. They've basically told us we can do and go wherever we want. Um, on their episode, you're going to see that I had questions about the Grease doll. And not only did they answer them, but they took the case apart for me to check that, you know, there's no wires, speakers, nothing. You know, I, I was like, I can prove it with a key too, and they look, we'll take it apart for you. So, so far, very impressed. Um, also here tonight, uh, PSI, a channel I, I'm glad I get to work with. So, I'm going to do a little bit of um, some calling out here and see if we can get anything. This room, the last time I was here, I was sat on that bed there. And I said something sarcastic um, to the spirit. And it sounded like something dropped on the floor, pretty much to my left, down there. I've seen um, dogs destroy the Dybbuk boxes here. So I want to see if we can um, get any interactions. More than that, there's a video... And I'm going to show you guys, outside of this room, um, something white or reflective comes past the window. Now people are saying it's the flags from the hut front of the hotel. It's not the case, this is the other side of the hotel. So if I show you guys outside here, there's literally some sort of yard, there's a garage over there, there's no ledge under this window. So, and I knew that, I, I knew whatever that was, wasn't somebody waving a flag or flying a kite at two o'clock in the morning, because I've been here, but I never looked out of the window for you guys, but now I'm here, I can see to you, there's no flags, that's that side of the building, the bang wasn't um, the side door, which, it does bang, but only in people investigating or guests at the hotel use that door, not the general public. And again, it's the other side of the building. Um, while we've been shown around again, and while I've sort of had a nose, I've had a good look for things I've seen in episodes, and a lot of the questions I get asked about this hotel, you can answer them by visiting. And so far, so good. There was a creek that side of me there, PSI are in a room quite close to me. That's only like somebody shifting their weight. They're that side of me. I don't know what's behind this wall. Is there anyone here with me tonight? Right, I think I just heard Mark and Tony next door. I can hear the voices just about. So my name's Dale. My friends call me Beardo. This is my second time here. And one one of the things that happened to me in this hotel was a bang scared me. Uh, while I was... Beardo, come in. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, we've noticed you heard the creaking over in the corner. We can confirm that that is room five stood on a floorboard right on the other side of room five's door. Brilliant, thank you. So, <laughs> here we go. Um, I've just said I'm sure it's Mark and uh, Tony there. The guys have just radioed through from the control room. Right, we've noticed you look in. That is, in fact, the guys. They stood on a floorboard that connects to that corner. Um, and this was my experience the last time. Every time I heard a noise, somebody was on the radio, there's somebody shifting their weight on the floor next to you and things like that. That wasn't that side though. Oh yeah, it is. It's the same noises, I think. Um, you know, the guys, they, deb they debunk as they go in. But this room, this room is the only room, I've been a lot of um, haunted places, this room freaked me out. <laughs> um, so yeah, 
if there is anyone here with me, Charles, if you're here, or any other spirits, could you give me a sign that you're here, like you did last time? Could you make a massive bang for me? Now I do have a key two meter there, and as everyone knows, my key two meter doesn't behave like other people's, because it really goes off. When the radio call came through, that K2 didn't flash. I haven't, I've brought my REM pod, I'm not turning it on tonight because even the guys a couple of rooms over the last time was setting the REM pod off. So I'll probably set that up when I go to bed and go to sleep and everyone's finished investigating. And then if it goes off, you know, early hours when everyone's out of the building and there's just us three guys left here sleeping, then I can turn my camera back on and see that REM pod has gone off and I've got no reason for it. So that creek is the guy's next door again. So I've recently seen a video with something past this window. I don't know what that was. Could you do that again for me? I'm not here with any disrespect or ill will. I'm what's called a paranormal investigator. I'm also a debunker and I prove people fake videos but ultimately my goal is to find proof of the paranormal so could you do something in this room could you use your voice or bang on something for me so while we're here guys this um no, a lot of people have said to me the speakers behind the picture frames. Um, I can pretty much prove it with the old K2. Speakers have magnets in them, K2 meters. You put it near the, your TV, in the centre of the screen, it won't go off. You put it where the, the speakers are on your TV, you'll get an EMF 4 or 5. So people are saying... The speakers hidden behind picture frames and stuff like that. And that EMF is not going off at all. Now even if a speaker has no power run into it, this will go off because of the magnets involved. So would anyone like to communicate with me? You could show yourself you can bang on the walls. That's next door again. I can hear him shifting his weight. At the end of the day, guys, this is an old building. You can hear people shifting their weight, but the guys running it, they're honest with you, and they'll tell you that somebody shifting their weight, as you have just seen. So, for everyone saying there's EMFs behind picture frames, I'll check every room that I go in tonight. I'll put an EMF against every picture frame. I personally don't believe there's speakers in them. So could you push... If there is somebody here with me, could you push that bathroom door for me? I know a lot of people ask you to push doors and to make noises. But I'm not like some other people. I want you to do it to prove me wrong. So I moved the other side, basically Mark and oh, PSI are the other side of that wall. So if I move this way, maybe I'll hear a little bit less creaking. Bang I heard was that corner. I've got a camera static on there. It's still light enough for my other camera to work. And we'll keep calling out to see if we can get a bang to recreate. So I've sat where I was the last time you made a noise. Could you do that again and show me that it was real? There are potentially a lot of people going to be watching this. 
who would all love to see that you're real. Wrote Charles Griffith. That name gets used in this room. And there seems to be movement. If there's anyone in this room with me, could you move that box in the corner? Or could you bang there like you did before? Things seem to focus in that area. Could you make a banging noise in this room for me, please? Or a knocking noise? Give me three distinct knocks to let me know you're here. Or if you want me out of this room, one big bang like you did before. And I'll leave after I've had a look at where the bang came from. Now I can hear uh, the guys from PSI. This is like a very muffled, very muffled um, tone. Or, sorry, very muffled speech. I can hear them, but I can't hear what's being said. I can't make out words. So if a word is picked up on one of the microphones and it's clear, that's interesting to me then. Because the last time I was here, I couldn't distinguish specific words from other rooms. The only time I could hear clearly was when I was sat by a bathroom door in the next room's bathroom. You could hear that quite loud. Obviously, PSI, they're experienced investigators. They're talking at a lower tone. Well, there's a random clicking over there now and again. I don't know if it's this lamp. If there's anyone here with me, could you make a noise? Could you bang or click something? Let's get that in. So, the clicking I've heard, I'm sure it's coming from there. I'm just hanging around to see if I can hear it again. That clicking is not anything to do with the noise I heard in you on the last visit with, with uh, my wife. Is anyone here with me? Could you make a noise, please? Could you knock three times? I'm just... You know, in the absence of any noises or anything, just checking around on top of things, just... I mean, you can tell nobody's been up messing with anything here. No disrespect to the hotel. There's a fair bit of dust up there. Like, you can, you can feel the dust, so... Nobody's laying stuff down up there to, to trick people. Which is a good thing. I'm not climbing up there to show you, because uh, I'm fat. I've had questions about triggers under floorboards. <laughs> the amount of work that would take. No way. And they'd fail. The amount of people walking back and forth, the expansion of wood, they'd fail. Very quiet, which is why I'm talking absolute rubbish and feeling about. Anyone here with me? Do you want to use my energy? Use the energy from my equipment, feel free. What's with the window over there? Now, certain things have triggered with that window when a certain event is mentioned. So what if I talk about the window? Did you fall out of that window? Or were you pushed? Could you do something near that window? 
so I'll know I'm looking in the right area. I've seen something on video go past that window. I'm not sure what it was. Could you show me again? What about a little knock on the window? Right, I thought I heard like a music box then and it's not, it's um, like church bells, it's the time, I bet it's on the hour, I don't know, my phone's dead, yeah it's on the hour, it was church bells, for a split second I was like, yeah music, it's on the hour. What I don't want to do is read it down and see guys I think I just heard music and try and catch them out because that's like a dick move. So I've turned uh, my other camera off just so I can keep it for the night because I want to get some cinematics of each room when I walk in. Um, it doesn't do, it doesn't have night vision capability but it does really well at low light. Um, the last time I came here Either you saw nothing because the rooms were dark and I didn't have any night vision at all or I had to turn the lights on which kind of ruins the mood. This camera captures the moods of the room and the colours of the room quite well because they are creepy. Right, that was that click in again. Oh, <laughs> worked it out. The clicking I thought was coming from that lamp is actually coming from the camera there. It's just clicked a couple of times. Who are the spirits of this room? The window in that corner seem to have more audible and visual occurrences than a lot of places could have could you give me one of these paranormal occurrences could you please move the curtain or however you manifest yourself could you show me that because that would be the holy grail some people think they've seen you in that window as a bright white moving object Show me that you're there. Can anyone give me a sign? Knock in, tap in, move something. Holy shit. Literally. Danny, can you check the cameras? It literally just sounded like three taps on the window in the room I'm in. Uh, yeah, sorry mate, what was that? Say again. Um, it, lit it sounded like there were three taps on the glass of the window under the, the camera I'm looking at now. I have looked for every noise in this room and I distinctly just heard three little tink 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 
on glass. Nobody is getting up here. There's no way somebody got up here. I mean, I'll see the glass is frosted, but I can see through it. Oh shit. So I don't want to open a window. I don't want to open a window and then be told that the, the windows are broke or something. But that sounded like... Yeah, go on. Yeah, we've just checked that back. Um, we don't know about that one. Uh, it's we, we checked the corridor camera. We checked room five camera. It's definitely not picked up on any of them. Uh, and obviously, we checked your two cameras in there. It's very, very clear. However, we don't have good audio on the camera right now. We may have to use your audio off your camera if that's okay, but we can definitely hear it. It sounds like it's on the window. Yeah, um, I was looking at the window, so it, that, that's the direction it came from to me. This camera in my hand is on, so it should have picked it up. Perfect, thank you. Um, is that one of the famous waves here? I mean, you can't get up to that window. Hmm. If that was you, could you do that again? Did you just tap the window after I'd finished speaking about the window? Alright guys, so we are now in room 5, which is the doll room. I don't have any fear of dolls. The last time I came here, nothing. No, um, no noises, no experiences, anything at all when I was in this room. I was almost disappointed because this was the early days of the show and... Um, there's a lot of focus on this room, but I'm glad we had something in a different room, you know? So the doll, it's been moved and dropped so many times, it barely stands up. You'll see it on my Haunted Hotels footage. I managed to get it to stand up, but I'm jumping up and down on the floor and knocking the shelf trying to get it to fall over. It took a good while to get it to go over, but it did eventually go over, but then I couldn't get it to stand back up. But I'm sort of happy that it's not... There's no wires, there's no motors, there's nothing in that corner of the room. And it's quite hard to get it to fall once it is stood up. But at the same point, it's hard to stand up now because it's um, it's just had a bit of a battering with people. Everyone's interested in it. Let's try this little uh, TV bed. See if we can get anything here. I think knocking has come from that side before now in the videos. I can still obviously here next to the bed. Right guys, so room four. This is where me and Mrs. Geek stayed last time we were here. This wardrobe was here in this corner. Um, this room we had um, the EMF going off quite a lot in the center of the bed with nothing around here. We checked under the bed. Never ever seemed to respond to me, but seemed to respond to my wife and it was all questions regarding the sword now I know that's not the sword up there the sword is down in the bar but this room is decorated because of that um, history with the building so I wonder if we could recreate that in this room now the last time I was here <coughs> yeah there it is I was getting EMF little spikes across this room, this wall. There we go. Around here, um, the last time we were here, where is it? 
So just there, we've got a constant EMF 3. I don't know what's behind that wall. Um, we recorded this last time, but by the time we get here, it's completely dead. Nothing up there. It's really hard to see in this room. Yeah, that one spot was where we had um, EMFs the last time. Well, the constant EMF there, specific area of that wall. But this part of the bed, it was only when my wife was speaking. So let's see if um, we can get anything this time. Or somebody outside. So my name is Dale. And I stayed in this room in October. And my wife was talking to you about the sword. And that device on the bed was triggering. I was sat on the floor. That was me. So could you have the same conversation with me again? Are you linked to the sword downstairs? There's a green light on the bed. If you touch that green light or the box it's attached to, then I'll be able to have a conversation with you. So could you move the light if you're the person that owned the sword? Or if you're the person that died to that sword. Could you change the light if you're a male? Or female, change the light. So what is interesting with this is, um, it was a good 10 minutes, Mrs Geek's asking questions and that EMF was going off, and now that I'm in here on my own, nothing, which is cool, because I can hear the radios going next door, I hear Danny coming up and doing a piece to camera, and that hasn't triggered so that means the first visit when that was triggering when my wife was talking means it wasn't the radios could it have been the equipment we brought i doubt it i've got new cameras now or i've got different cameras now but none of my cameras have ever set off that emf my phone's off and it was seemingly in response interesting So do you remember my wife that was here in October? Her name was Kelly. And you seemed to have a conversation with her about the sword. Could you have the same conversation with me, please? Because if you have just seen a weird streak of light, there's uh, two cars just past the window. There's a little gap in the curtains there. I don't know if the camera picked it up. So could you give me a sign that you're here, please? Could you touch that K2 that's on the bed? It's the same one that was used last time.
no hits on the key two apart from that one patch of wall there where it happened before same sort of questions my wife asked the last time we were here and nothing um, Mark from PSI um, we had a conversation downstairs with Danny about that sometimes it seems to be that females with certain spirits get um, better interactions maybe that's the case with this room but you know all night that I've been using the K2 so far we've all the radios have been in the radios are in use between the two teams myself PSI and then the guys downstairs the guys have been up and down the stairs from the control room depending on what's going on through the night radios are in constant use and that K2 doesn't spike to it so although I've got nothing on the K2 this visit it kind of lends a bit of credence to the last visit where Mrs Geek was asking questions and that K2 was working. Weird how it goes for I'm going to... Yeah, you need to come down and see this mate, bring your camera. Yeah, coming down. Oh well, right. Guys, I'll be right back with you. I'm going to go down and see what they've captured downstairs. Hi guys, so finally into room 8. I hope something happens in this room. Now, you will see this on my Haunted Hotels footage. Um, I questioned the Grease doll, the plinth, whether there was a speaker. And I, I was trying to be nice about it. I was trying to say, you know, look, um, I could probably find a speaker with a K2. And Danny was like, now nah, we'll, we'll take the front off the plinth for you. And that's exactly what happened. Um, Brett came up, took the front off the plinth. Um, literally, I had my head up inside of the plinth, looking underneath at the plate. This A wire runs from behind the crucifix, which is there. Runs down the floor there with a black tape. Up inside the plinth, around the back of the box, and onto the top, attached to that light. And I've traced that wire. There's no splits. There's nothing coming off there, going anywhere else. There's no speaker. There's no way to put a speaker in there. So, I'm quite interested. So, um, we're going to have a conversation with Greece, And hopefully... Grace will talk back, otherwise this is just a 42 year old man talking to a doll. Hello Grace. You may remember me from earlier, that was me moving the chair behind me. I tried to speak to you earlier and you had nothing to say. A lot of people believe in your power. A lot of people believe in you have numerous names. I'm not convinced in cursed items. With the greatest of respect, I'd love for you to try and scare me. I'd love for you to have a conversation with me. I've seen videos where you can speak can you speak to me now, Grace? Or Jeanette? Or can you move? I've seen a lot of people have some very strange reactions in this room. Could you make me a non-believer? in cursed items could you make me have a reaction I've had an interaction tonight in a different room a room I had an interaction with on my last visit can you outdo that for me please 
My friends are in a different room. They've had a t-shirt pulled. They've captured EVPs. And I'm wondering if the world famous Grease doll Jeanette can do anything. Or are you just a doll that people fear? So you can go by many names, and in a way I do. So I'll tell you my real name. My real name is Dale. What's your real name? Could you tell me your real name, please? Is it Jeanette? So guys, I am trying not to move around too much. Because, um, as you can see, the floorboards here. And those chains. If you set on a floorboard that runs under there, those chains are going to move a little bit. And Jeanette, if you want me to leave this room, tell me to leave. Say the words leave, and I'll go out the door and I won't come back. Because obviously, um, as I said when I first came in, the plinth has been taken apart for me to investigate earlier on. Now, potentially, could somebody have come back in this room for a split second? I thought that was a music box or something going off is the church bells again. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped breathing for a couple of seconds and like holy shit <laughs> so obviously um, there's a picture on the wall there's this um, area behind me not throwing off any key too and Neither is the Jeanette doll or the case. So just you know, the reason I put the K2 near it, just so you can see that there's not a speaker, the speaker's magnetic set off the K2 as I've said a few times tonight. Just so nobody can see oh, that the guys have come up here taking the plinth bag off somehow wired a speaker in and then gone back out and sent me back in here I mean for a start there's no way to put a speaker inside there there's no way to mount a speaker they'd have to just lay it on the floor and if and if Jeanette can speak like people say yeah. Oh, fuck me! And if Jeanette can speak, like people say. Yeah. Oh, fuck me! And if Jeanette can speak, like people say. Yeah. Oh, fuck me! Uh, Beardo, um, I've just heard what sounds like somebody throwing up in this room. Right, I was just talking about the doll, and it sounds like somebody's dry heaved in this room, like a bleh noise. Uh, in the room? I'm confused. I, what? <laughs> right, so I'm talking about um, how the plinth has been taken off and all the rest of it. 
and I'd love for the, this room to have a voice and Jeanette to talk. And it li literally sounded like somebody in this room dry heaved. Yeah. I'm going to watch this back now, just bear with me. Okay. I hope they've picked that up. Sorry, I was just trying to find out like that. I hope they've picked that up. It sounded like a bleh, but he was in here with me. You've got that, have you? Uh, but just bear with me there, I'm just fucking out. Um, show me the point where that came from. This area? Low down, high up or what? Um, right, I'm sat down like this and it sounds like it was almost just by my ear. Um, I pointed out my stomach's been making noises, but it was not the noise I just heard that came. It came from the side of me. It was like a bleh, like almost like a dry heave. It was bizarre. I'd be very concerned if that was your stomach, mate. Um, that, that is bizarre to be fair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not often I'm freaked out, but that that made me shiver. <laughs> Will do. So Jeanette, I think I've just heard you growl at me. Or make a sound. Could you knock on the box for me and let me know that that was you? That sound came from in here. Fucking hell. Okay, Jeanette. I wanted to hear your voice. Maybe I just did. Could you prove it to me? One more time. Make the same sound again. Or knock on the box for me. Please. I think you want to be here, Jeanette. You've certainly got my attention. I came from a solid wall. Could you knock on the box for me, Jeanette, please? Or growl at me again. Do it louder. Whatever you just did, 
came from within this room. Could you do it again? Or have you used all your energy? Do you know, I appreciate that you have potentially just made that noise. I mean, I can't explain that. That was that was this side of my ear. I've been waiting for a noise to come from that box and it came from within the room instead. Could you do it again, please? I mean, there is no way I can You have confused me, Jeanette. What did you just do, Jeanette? Could you do it again? I forgot to talk to you guys <laughs> because um, I've been intently staring at the grey stall trying to get a reaction. And my focus was on the noise coming from the doll or from the box. And literally from around here somewhere, I just heard this bleh. It was, it was horrible. I literally, I, it was like a cold breeze came over me. It wasn't a breeze, it was like the goosebumps. That caught me off guard. It was a horrible noise. Um, I've read it down to the guys downstairs and it's on their camera as well. I'm sure this would have picked it up. Um, they've, they've told me I can open the boarded up door next door. I've just opened that as you've seen. It's literally a bathroom. But that sounding come from that bathroom through a muffled wall. It sounded like it was here. I mean, before I check the bathroom, I've checked the, these wooden beams, I've checked the wall, I've looked to see if there's something, any signs of a way for a, a noise to come from here, and there's not. You know, if it'd come from behind me where the window's been boarded up, or... <laughs> then fair enough. But that came from here. I mean, this is a wall. <laughs> Woo! Well, it is Jeanette. I saw him in room three. Um, I was still going back to the bathroom because Mark from PSI got a shirt pulled. And I've seen the footage. Oh, what a bizarre night. I mean, 
What a really, really bizarre night. Have you tapping on a window? Have you had a voice in the grease room? And I've seen somebody's t-shirt get pulled in here. Apparently the guys from PSI have had a lot of audio stuff and then a shirt pull. So, I mean, fingers crossed the same thing happens to me because... Um, <laughs> I, where do you start? PSI are a paranormal investigatory channel, but they debunk a lot of stuff. I debunk a lot of stuff. I'll be honest, the guys from the hotel, they've just given me free reign of the place, you know. They are saying, right, do you want to try this room, do you want to try this room. But they have said, at any point, if you guys want to go somewhere else, just let us know. I've heard the PSI guys bouncing between two or three rooms, trying to work out sound sources and all the rest of it. There's been no need for me to do that, because I haven't had those sound sources both noises that I have here tonight, the three taps on the window were right in front of me, I was looking at it, there is no reason for it. And that noise in the grease room. It was... It was horrible. Proper horrible. It sounded like... some sort of death metal bleh before a breakdown or... My original description was, it sounds like somebody dry heaving, but there was a bleh, a, a pronounced B at the beginning of it. It wasn't muffled by a wall, <laughs> it was right next to me. I'm meant to be debunking this place. <laughs> I've had two things and I'm like, I, I can't. Alright oh. guys, so I am in the old pentagram room. Back where I started this journey a year ago, or nearly a year ago, I'm with the two guys from PSI. Here we got Mark Hello. over there and Tony that won't focus. Hi there. <laughs> so um, sometimes it just doesn't focus, and I don't know why. So um. <laughs> they're blinding me with the sun um, we've had an incredible night uh, we've done sort of our pieces to camera it's coming up at 3am just a brilliant experience I think we can, the three of us could see we've experienced things that we can't easily explain away absolutely yeah yeah definitely yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, definitely. It's going to be interesting Good. to see all the footage when it comes out. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. The way it's edited together as well. That's going to make some really good footage for them. And good advertisement. We can't buy advertisement like this, can we? No, no. Um, I mean, you can go to 30 East Drive, take all of your equipment, and it's your you know, for you guys, your team is two people. Or you have to go with another team to team up. Whereas you come here, you've got guys with a control room. Yeah. They're going to offer advice on how to investigate. Yeah. If you've never investigated before, we're better to do it than such an old building. Yeah, absolutely. And like you were saying, we could go to 30 years drive, take all our equipment and still come away with nothing. Yeah, I mean, we could... To be fair, we could all have come here and got absolutely nothing. It'd have been what it is... But the investigating, watching, like I could hear some of what you guys are doing through the wall. I'm like, I'm like, Dad, what are they doing? That sounds cool. <laughs> and I can hear Danny on the radio and Danny's like, that's a really good idea. And I think we've all learnt something from each other tonight. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, it's been one of those experiences. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, Danny and Brett, Danny, Brett and Harry smiles headed when they left. They seem to really have enjoyed watching us and integrating with us and yeah i really enjoyed it and it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you guys so i feel like I'm, i know mark anyway <laughs> yeah yeah it's been nice it, it was good we was on about meeting anyway weren't we? At some yeah point. yeah yeah and um you know to come to a building with the the age of this the history of this oh yeah and let's be yeah. fair you know they've got a show to run they've got um a fan base and they you know Obviously, they've done their bits that they needed for the show. 
But they let us have free reign. And then, uh, uh, you know, two o'clock in the morning, say, right, we're going home, you boys, yeah, all the rooms are open to you. Yeah. And they haven't told us we can't do anything, go anywhere, apart from, obviously, yeah. the downstairs stuff, which is the, the business side of it. So, brilliant. Guys, so uh, we're at the end of the night. Um, spent a little bit of time with PSI down in room six. Um, we didn't do any experiments. We just had a conversation about the night. Just genuinely really nice guys. Um, so head on over to PSI, drop them the subscription. They deserve it. Their equipment, absolutely phenomenal. The amount of it they've got. Massive thank you to my haunted hotel, Danny, Harry and Brett for inviting us around, giving us free reign of the place. It's been it's been a game changer tonight. I mean, I was very cynical of that doll, and I got an experience that I thought was made for TV. Head on over to my haunted hotel. Head on over to PSI. Both will be linked in the description down below. I thought I was coming out of this place empty-handed tonight. You know, maybe the odd knock, the odd tap, but to capture a direct voice phenomena right next to my ear. Both of my cameras have pro hopefully picked it up. The hotel's cameras definitely picked it up. Um, phenomenal. And, it, you know, this isn't like I've gone into the room and it's growled at me. I've gone into the room, I've had them take things apart in the room. PSI have gone looking for cables, they've got a wire tracer that they've used or something along those lines I think they said and um, yeah there's no there's no way for us to explain it or debunk it. Do I think that everything I experienced tonight was a ghost? Probably not. Is it outside of the normal? That, that voice that is far beyond the realms of normal for me. In fact, that is probably the most real thing that has happened to me in years because it was so close to me and such a horrific noise. Phenomenal. So, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna put a REM pod up on this uh, Ouija board that's right in front of me. There's a Ouija board in this room. I don't like them. I'm not gonna be putting my finger on the planchette, but I'm gonna put my REM pod on there and see if it triggers through the night and wakes me up. If it does, I've got a camera there. I'll just turn the camera on and let you know that it has in fact gone off. Hopefully it'll go off, but for now, it's been a long, long day. Beardo, out. And if, and if Jeanette can speak, like people say, yeah. oh, fuck me. And if Jeanette can speak, like people say, yeah.
Oh, fuck me.